Hello internet. Um, I'm gonna try and make this a bit shorter. This is like the second take of this video because I keep just ranting because I don't script anything. I need to start doing that. Firstly, point the first, point the first. Thank you for your comments on my, my very unfinished layout and yes, coming up with a story, good idea. However, I have unleashed my secret weapon called procrastination and I have instead brought um, this little doodad here, which has got a Next18 socket on it, and on the back has got some soldering pads on there. And I am going to attempt, because this is the only train that doesn't have it, I'm going to attempt to get my 08 um, on the HM7000 system using the Next18 socket. I think there will be space. We shall see. Because that will then have the sound and the stay alive. Um, also, I have ordered magnetic uh, couplings, because these couplings are really annoying. There we go. They're just too intricate, guys. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I ordered them tail ended last week, they haven't turned up yet, um, but fingers crossed they will turn up uh, soon. And Stanford Model, Model Railway Show, really nice. I went to it at the weekend, spoke to a guy called Richard, they have got a TT120 layout there. Um, yeah, it wasn't the Stanford Club, it was it was another sort of nearby club. Um, they, they had one of those there and I saw it running and he gave me some really good advice. And it, he actually had the magnetic couplings that I've ordered. Uh, they were running and they didn't fall apart or anything. He said they were brilliant. Wonderful. So that was good. Um, okay, so that's all the sort of admin bits out the way. HM7000, there's a problem with this, guys. <laughs> and I don't, look, I'm not here to stir, stir trouble, to start trouble, right? I'm not. I, I don't care that much. This this is this hobby is obviously look look at this. This is very small for me. This is just a little I'm small time in this hobby and I completely understand and, and get that. Um however there's a bit of a problem with it. So the problem is, right, so this one's got a chip in the back of it. This one's got a chip in the tender. The one in the back there's got a chip in the back of it. Is it the back? That's no, kind of more in the middle, isn't it? Anyway, they've got chips in them. All run off Bluetooth, no problems at all. Um, I've recently reset my phone that I'm using to talk to you now because I just, I just wanted to reset it. I just wanted to, to give it a clean slate because a lot of crap on there. I just wanted to just, it was, more, it was more effort to get rid of it than just to reset it. So I've reset my phone, which means I have to repair these devices. And I thought about this, <laughs> and, and I thought about this when I was at the Stanford show. Um, anyone that's running the HM7000, I can just take control of your train. Like, immediately with no effort i don't even need a laptop and the reason i know this is because up here you may have just seen it in the background here is ooh, oh this is upside down there we go not that it really matters um this is a a a um, nexus 7 tablet it's quite an old tablet by today's standards and i thought actually you know what it's a bigger screen i wouldn't mind getting this work on the hm7000 unfortunately it works it works well actually it ticks all the boxes but it's just really slow um it holds connection no problem but you press a button it takes ages anyway so i paired it to that no problems i just thought hmm i wonder so i was able to without any prior knowledge, like to the point of if, if you just turned up to, to with me, to th with this train, if you just turned up with that train, even if it was paired to your phone that was in your pocket and you put it on my route, route, on my layout, zipped it round, you know, set the horn off, etc, etc, I could, within about 20 seconds, reset your train. And you wouldn't have to tell me the reset code. So, okay, that's one thing, I've reset it. Okay, you just repair it, away you go again. Yes, absolutely. But then if... I reset your train, I can then repair it. And unless you figure out how I've done that, you no longer have control of your train. And I can go in there, edit CVs, set it to full power, let's pretend this is an end-to-end -end layout rather than a, a roundy roundy, <laughs> technical terms. <laughs> pretend this is an end-to-end, -end. I could then just set the CV, the VMAX thing, and just slam it into the wall and just slam it back out again, slam it all, and you can press stop layout as much as you like, it ain't happening, you know, you, you gotta go pull the, you gotta go pull the, the cat power cable out. Um, now, obviously, if it's just me and you in the room, it's pretty obvious that I'm I'm, I'm being an ass and I'm I'm damaging your things. Um, but what if, what if we're at a show? What if I was at? And obviously, I didn't do this because I'm not horrible, not that much of a nasty person. But I'm at this show, right? I pull out my HM7000 app. I just walk around with it, just keep scanning, and I and I find devices. Oh, these devices are resettable. Now you think, well, I don't have the code. How can I reset them? Trust me, that's not an obstacle. And I tested this. 
So I, I reset it onto that tablet there. Then I borrowed my, my partner's phone. Reset it. Reset, and whilst... Because actually that's where the train stopped, actually. Whilst I was running that on its own, I then used my partner's phone to reset it. And then take control of it. Then I just then I just sounded the horn and just stopped because I proved my point. <coughs> um, you know, imagine you're at an exhibition showing off your stuff and like all this money and time and effort you've put into it. Some snot nosed little git oik like myself just turns up and goes, "You know, I don't like you very much." Or even if I don't don't like you very much, even if I you know I find you indifferent, whatever. You know what, mate? I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have some fun here. And I'm just gonna just just damage your stuff. Because I can, because I want to. And I could, I, you know, and I could just be amongst the crowd of people. And yeah, if you look very carefully, maybe you'll see me on my phone. You don't need a laptop for this, by the way. I can just do it on my phone. Um, yeah, and and you may think, well, oh, for God's sake, who? God, really? I mean, really? Who would do this? Trust me, there are people out there that would do these things. I, I, for example, have played online games. I'm, I'm not quite forty yet, so I'm. I'm old enough and young enough at the same time to play online games, but also not be super angry when I lose. Um, but, you know, sometimes you do you do find people that will cheat at online games, or you find people that will join, like, the game that you're playing and send certain commands in, in a certain way which no one was expecting, and then they would just destroy the game. Like, it would just stop playing. It would, the, the server would crash, essentially. Basically, the game would just stop responding. And like you're just having a nice time with nice people and just having a great game, and sometimes you actually you, you know you're doing quite well, or maybe not doing quite well. You can still enjoy a game if you're not not winning it. Um, and then just these people will just just turn up and just ruin the game because they want to, for no other reason. You've not wronged them; they'll just do it. Um, look, I, I don't know if I'm overreacting to this, and maybe you are, and maybe I am, and maybe you're looking at the screen going, "You know what, Richard? Just get a life, will you? It doesn't matter." And I I, I get where you're coming from. And actually, at home, this is not going to stop me using it. Well, this, this, it's going to stop not stop me using it so much that I've I've going to get I'm going to finally get this thing off the Zemo decoder. I'm going to try and wire this up to it and get on the HM7000. So I'm HM7000 across the board. And next time I buy a small loco which doesn't support sound, I'm going to really think twice about doing it before I hit the pay button. Um, it's just you know, I, I'm still going to use it at home. I'm still going to enjoy it. And I I I, I think this I think Hornby have done really good work with this i think the the app needs a lot of spit and polish it they've they've got 90 percent the way there if you get that last 10 percent to really get it home and get all the bugs fixed and make it really good um trouble is that last 10 percent is about 50 percent of the effort sometimes so i do sympathize with them it, it does feel like this is a very much a, a sort of version one product and i think it, if if hornby focus on it and i'm really hoping that they do then um this will be a good product but at the same time this security issue with this is something that they need to resolve. It is fixable. A firmware update will sort it out, but obviously then you've got to a firmware, you've got to give software updates to your trains, right? <laughs> We're fed up with it on our computers and our phones and our tablets and even our cars these days. Um, you know what? You're going to have to have a software update on your trains now. Um, it is totally fixable, but I don't know if they're going to fix it. Um, I don't want to give out the details of how I've done this on this video because obviously... There may be one of these nasty people watching this video. But, by the way, this tiny little YouTube channel, I've already had to ban two people. Two, 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 two people um, who just wrote nasty things in the comment section. And, you know, if you want to be one of those people, I'm just going to block you. It's no problem. Um, you know, this tiny little YouTube channel, I've had to deal with trolls already. Um, just just keep this in mind, guys. Um, there is downsides and upsides to everything we do, and there's, there's risk to everything we do. Um... But if you're taking this to an exhibition especially, I would be super cautious. Um, and I, I would have it running on DCC. Actually, that doesn't make no difference, actually. Um, you can have it running on Bluetooth uh, or DCC and it still happen. But I would still, I would definitely have like like the power switch nearby <laughs> just to switch it off. Um, as far as I'm aware, the guy didn't have any problems. There was, you know, he didn't, I'm sure he would have mentioned, because uh, like, we did talk about the HM7000, what a nice little system it is. I'm sure if someone had been messing around with it, I'm sure they would have... Said, he would have said something and said, yeah, yeah, it's a nice little system until someone, some little oik comes along and just breaks things. Um, so I'm sure it's okay on, on, on his example, but just, just bearing in mind that it's not, always, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Um, okay, with that out of the way, I've, I've ranted a lot. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. 
Would this bother you if, if genuinely, would this bother you? You're running one of these at an exhibition. I'm never going to exhibit. I'm never going to get that, that to that level um, of, of actually people wanting to see my stuff. Um, that's fine. I'm okay with that. But if you're one of these people that exhibited, would you be okay if just some oik just turns up and just makes all your trains stop in the best in the best case scenario and the worst case scenario starts deliberately crashing them? Um, would you be okay with that? Guess probably not. Um, is it a big deal? I mean, I've I've heard horror stories sometimes. I've I've heard it shows just like just like this one. It wasn't this show particularly. I don't remember the name of it now. Some some guy did tell me about um when the fire alarm was pulled. The fire alarm was set off deliberately. Um, everyone left obviously because you know, the fire alarm's gone off. Of course you're gonna leave. And when everyone came back in, there was thousands of pounds of stock just sort of missing from various traders. So. Um, that's that screams organisation to me. That seems that like, you know prior planning and organisation. Now in that case, it's a bit different because it's a finance, financial incentive. I do understand that, but trust me, there are there are people out there who will just do nasty things because they want to, and just because they enjoy it. You know, we we often call them bullies, but you know, just keep that in mind. Um, there are some nasty people out there. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Anyway, as usual with this, um, this very irregular uh, upload schedule, you'll probably not hear from me for a couple of weeks now, um, but I would I would like to hear your thoughts definitely on um, what I've just talked about with the HM7000. And if I ever, if if I pull off this thing over the next 18 decoder in here, then I'll make a video about it. But it won't be instructional. It'll just be like, this is kind of what I did. I won't I won't give instructions. If you never hear about it again, just assume it failed and I, I blew up a decoder for 70 quid. And <laughs> we're going from there. Okay, have a great evening, everyone, or morning, whenever you're watching this. Um, thank you for watching if you've got this far to my rambling, non-scripted video. Maybe I should make a script for this kind of videos. Maybe I should actually put some thought and effort into it. Then I won't have to do three takes. That would be good, wouldn't it? Okay, anyway, have a, have a great one, everyone. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.